Assalamualaikum and hi everyone, my lovely student. Okay, this is chapter 2 from 4 number basis. This video is part 3. So, the learning standard for this video form calculations involving addition and subtraction of numbers in various basis. Okay, how do you perform calculation involving addition and subtraction of numbers in various bases? So, addition and subtraction in number bases can be carried out in the following method. Okay, you have two methods here, which is the first one is using vertical form. That is to write the number vertically and performing addition and subtraction. Okay, another method, conversion of numbers in a certain base to base 10. So, this is a, a very long way lah. Okay, so this one, addition of number in various methods by using vertical form. At the given digit starting from the right to the left, the sum of the digit in base 10 is converted to the given base to be written in the answer space. So this process is repeated until all the digits in the number are added up. Okay, so this is for the vertical form. Okay, next you, you will see this vertical form. Conversion of base. So... First step, convert the number to base 10 and perform addition. Next, convert the answer in base 10 to the required base. Okay, this one that I said just now, this is the long way. But if you understand this uh, method, you can use. Okay, the, the choices is in your hand. Okay. Okay, uh, let's have a look at example 10. Calculate each of the following. So, I will show you the two methods, which is the vertical method and the conversion of this. So, have a look at example A. So, here is the vertical method and here is the conversion of this. Okay, conversion of this. Okay, I'll start with this first because this is very easy to understand. First, the first number, okay, I'm going to use pen so it's better for you to understand. Okay, uh, I want to use two color pen. Alright, so first for the conversion of base, this number in base 2, you convert to base 10 which is 6. Okay. Next, 1, 1, 2, base 2. You convert to base 10, you will get 7. Then you plus this to number, you will get 13. Next, 13, you convert to base 10. Uh, no. You convert to base 2 by using uh, this method. Remember this method? Uh, dividing by using base number. So, if the question asks you to convert in base 2, so you divide by 2, then you get this answer, 1101. Uh, that's what I mean by the long way just now. Long way because you have to convert uh, each number to base 10 first, and then you... Ah, there's no other. Okay, and then you perform the addition. Perform the addition. And then the answer in base 10, you convert back to base 2. Okay, because the question are in base 2. So, this is the long way. But if you understand this, you can use this method. Okay, for the vertical form. Vertical form is the direct way. Uh, but you have to really understand this. Okay, first, uh, we perform addition as usual. 
Okay. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 equals to 2. 2. Okay. Equals to 2. But in base 2, uh, the number 2 cannot be in base 2. So, you can write 2 here. Okay. You can write 2 here. The answer 2, you divide by the base. 2 divided by 2 is 0. And then you put 1 here. Okay. You put 1 here. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3. 3 also uh, cannot be in the base 2 number. So 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Then we put 1 here. So 1, you just write here. So the answer will be 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. So this is the direct way to get the answer. The answer will be the same as this method. Because the same question must be the same answer, right? So... This is the long way. This is the direct way. Okay. Personally, I like this way. The vertical form. But if you, if you don't understand this, you can use this method. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. I'll show you uh, the second example, which is question B. Okay. Question B here. So, this is the vertical method. Okay. 3, 3 plus 5 equals to 8. 8 minus 8, 0. Then, we put 1 here. Okay. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. Okay. 15 minus 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. So we put 7 here and then we put 1 here. Next, 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So we put 1 here. So we just write 1 here. So the answer will be 1070 this 8. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay. This one is the only explanation for this. Okay. When you do your homework, no need to write this. Okay. No need to write this. Just this only. Just write this only. Then this is the answer. Okay. okay for this, uh, as I said just now, convert this to base n first. And then another number to base 10. Then you perform the addition. Then you convert back this to base 8. Uh, so you will get the same answer. So C. Okay, this is the vertical form. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. So put 3 here, put 1 here. Always put 1, okay? 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. So put 1 here. Okay? 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 minus 9 equals to 7. Then you put 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is the answer. Okay, no need to write all of this. Okay. So this is the long way. Convert to base 10 first and then convert back to base 9. The answer will be the same as the vertical form. Okay, 
So now subtracting. So uh, also have two method which is vertical form and conversion base conversion uh, same as just now uh, which is the long way just now. So I start with conversion of base first. So this is the example for number for uh, for A. So first you have to convert this number to base 10 and then another number to base 10 then you perform the subtraction. The answer you get here you convert back to base 6. So you will get this answer. Okay, so this is the vertical form. Okay, 5 minus 5 is 0. Just simply 0 here because 0 can be in the base 6. Okay, 0 minus 2. Cannot. Okay, cannot. So, you just... Um, Um, you just borrow, borrow from the previous number, but from if you perform subtraction in base ten, uh, we put ten here, right? So for base six, you write six. So six minus two is four. When you borrow one from this, so left is five. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Uh, this one we borrow at the first. So 3. So basically I, I will show you here lah. So that is easier for you to understand. 4, 0, 0, 5. Minus 3, 2, 5. All up is 8. So first 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay, next. 0 minus 2 cannot. This one also cannot. So you borrow from here. So 4, it becomes 3. If you if this is base 10, then you write say, a 9 and 10 here, right? 9 and 10. Uh, 10. But here is base 6. Base 6, so you just put 6 here and 5 here. Okay, so 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 3 is 2, 3. So this is the straight away uh, method, which is vertical form. Okay, uh, personally I like this method because this is a direct method. Okay, uh, this one long, long way to get the answer. So B. Okay, I'll show you here. 6, 2, 4, 1. B7 minus 6, 1, 3, S, B7. Okay. 1 minus 3 cannot, so borrow from here. So here become 3. Okay, here, 7. 7. 7 plus 1, 8 minus 3. So, 5. Okay. Next, 3 minus 2 is 2. Okay, 2 minus 6 cannot, cannot. So, borrow from here. So, here become 5. Here is 7. Okay, 7 because this is base 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. Then 5. So this is the direct way. So this is the um, conversion of this method, which is the long method that I said previously so you have to convert to this 10 first for the for both number and then you perform the subtraction then uh, you convert back to this 7 the answer will be the same ok 
okay so this is the answer for C and D all right so this is your homework self practice 2.1 C so in this exercise two question only but you have any question in one question so you can uh, you can calculate this by using uh, vertical method or conversion of base method depend on you uh, which one you understand better which one you like you can use as long as the quiz uh, the answer uh, is the same and uh, it's okay then okay so that's all for this video thank you and see you in the next video